Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the circle. It turns out the only thing that you need to know about a circle is the radius of the circle. That's because all the points on the circle are equidistant from the center. So the radius really defines all of what you need to know about the circle. And then it turns out to find the perimeter, it is equal to 2 pi times the radius. And if you want to find the area, it's equal to pi r squared. So as an example, let's say that the radius is equal to 5. Then to find the perimeter, we can then say that p is equal to 2 pi times r, which is equal to 2 times pi times 5, which is equal to 10 pi. And of course, pi can be found out from a calculator or simply can be approximated that you know that pi is equal to 3.14159 to 2 to 5 decimal places. But if two decimal places is sufficient, you can say that this is equal to 10 times 3.14, which is equal to 31.4. So that would be the length of going all the way around the circle called the perimeter. Now to find the area, that is equal to pi times r squared. In this case, that's equal to pi times 5 squared or 25 times pi. Again, if we use the approximation that pi is about 3.14, then by the calculator, we can find out that that's equal to 3.14 times 25 equals that 78.5. Or what you could do is you could simply use pi because most calculators have pi embedded right in them. So if I use that, I simply go pi times 25, I get 78.54. So that's equal to 78.54 if I use the exact value for pi. But again, if I don't care that much about the exact accuracy, and I think that one decimal place is efficient, approximating pi is 3.14 would be good enough. And that's how we do that.